sunshine all year round which translates into 2400 hours of sunshine but out of every 100 houses across the country only one gets a source of energy from solar this is because of the high cost of installation government says it will increase solar energy production from 22.5 megawatts to 250 megawatts by 2030 Solar energy makes up 10% of the country's energy mix, although Ghana receives many more hours of bright sunshine and heat during the course of the year. With the level of sunshine, there is a large solar potential. About 29% of the population is still not connected to the national grid, with solar energy capacity making up a little over 0.03%, which is mostly found in private homes, the country is still considered dark with relatively high electricity costs. Total installed capacity of solar power in the country stands at 120 megawatts, which is about 0.0005% of our solar power potential that has been tapped. A myriad of reasons have been given for the low patronage of solar energy. Among the reasons are the resistance to change and new technologies and the high cost of installing solar energy. But experts say the 25 years lifespan of panels and inverters and the long-term economic benefit of shedding off about 30 to 80 percent of a customer's electricity bill is incomparable. When the transaction cost is higher, it makes it very challenging for it to be competitive. And in terms of longevity and also what you're saving the climate and everything about, you tend to see that is much more of a better option than that of any, any, any other um, technology. Players in the industry have hailed government's commitment to renewable energy but are asking for a more realistic approach to ensure the benefits of solar are fully tapped. Every import of renewable that leaves China, the exporter receives a tax break. We don't have that here. Implementing policies and Im implementing incentives and also impl implementing su uh, subsidies that will help grow the industry. The government has stated that two million solar lanterns will be distributed to households while government facilities in urban and selected non-electrified rural communities will be installed with solar panels. There are also plans to establish 55 mini-grid electrification systems with an average capacity of 100 kilowatts. Already, the Bui Power Authority has started setting up a 250 megawatt solar plant to boost grid power supply. Strategic Power Solutions, a local solar manufacturing facility at Kong, believes that when local capacity is built, government can easily achieve its drive of increasing its solar energy supply. Experts say Ghana stands to gain a lot by emulating Morocco, which has an annual sunshine of 3,600 hours. In 2016, Morocco inaugurated its first phase of a $9 billion solar power plant, which will ultimately provide 580 megawatts of power.